You're watching News View with Lee Sullivan. Welcome back. It's News View, visiting with Ron Hart. I don't know. If you're as old as I am and you ever watched a cartoon, there was one It was called Bullwinkle Moose, and it was snidely or snurdly, okay? And there was this girl that would be tied to the railroad tracks, and, and then there would be Dudley Do-Right, and he would go over, and he would, Don't worry, I'll save you. And she'd say something like, Who'll pay the rent? And he'd say, Don't worry, I'll pay the rent. Uh, and every now and then, I mean, without any inducement by chemicals or anything, I, 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 have, I have a, I think we're in that Bullwinkle cartoon. It's even worse than that. If you're talking about the, the hero, w. did you ever watch I did. Bullwinkle? I watched cartoons. Yeah, right? yeah, certainly. Um, I mean, great Americans did watch cartoons. I believe we all grew up on cartoons. They were, they were good. Um, I, I think that Obama's worse than that. Not only would he come over and act like he's doing it to, to release the woman. He'd bring in a union hack at 45 bucks an hour to do it who would not who would get there late and she'd get run over by the tra train because he's not allowed by the union rules to actually untie someone on a railroad. I think right. that would be the difference. Uh, it, it's scary the way he's doing things and he's got a certain amount of people that believe him and it's amazing to me that people actually do believe him but you know what? Bush left it wide open. Bush did not do a good job as a Republican down the stretch which left the door open for any Democrat who ran last year to win. So he was any Democrat, and he came up to the party. He did crush the Clintons in the primaries. He did run a good campaign. Uh, he didn't say much, but he ran a good campaign. He just, he's never run anything in his whole life. He couldn't run a high school musical, but he's now all of a sudden in charge of the, the economy. Is it because people are more against things than they are for things? Well, they voted for hope and change, and you can't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? Well, I, I'm beginning to understand <laughs> one day at a time, and I'm not liking it. <laughs> I'm not loving that puppy. Exactly. He was very nonspecific, and he was very, uh, he's a good campaigner, a terrific teleprompter speaker. I mean, he's telegenic, and he says people, the people, he just can't govern. You, you need someone who's governed before, who's seen the tough and rumble times and know what it takes to get done. And the problem that he also has is when he got there, he was like a kid, and he subligated himself to Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi, who run the, basically run the plant for him down there. And he just says, you go get me a health care bill, check back with me on occasion. And they go down there and they're paying people off and they're doing this and they're, you know, it just, it just strikes me that he's a neophyte and he's being baptized under fire and which costs us a lot of money. He doesn't understand what the money is. It's monopoly money to him. Right. $12 trillion. He's going to rub the deficit bigger than anybody in the world. Well, nobody's kept his salary, have they? No, he can't keep his. No. He makes a lot of his books. And right. I didn't notice he, give, he didn't give a lot to Haiti himself, right. so we'll see. He didn't give a lot to anybody. No. You know, and Biden he certainly hasn't either. given a lot to us. Well, Biden, I mean, that's, I mean, here it is. Joe Biden, what a cockroach. Meeting with the transparency czar closed to the press. If that doesn't say it all, <laughs> Ron Hart, great American, nothing yeah. says it all. It's a uh, hotbed of hypocrisy, and these people are not held accountable. I, I heard Chris Matthews this morning on the news. He was just gooing about how responsive Obama was to Haiti. Look, this, this ship's not getting down there until Thursday. If it was, I mean, it's only Americans flying down there as doctors and, and nurses and the great Americans that go down to benefit. It's, it's helping these folks, not him. Uh, he's out in Hawaii playing golf. And Chris had got the leg thing going on with the yeah, president. Yeah, he gets excited. Remember, those are my views. What are yours?